psychological truths about crushes. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, if you feel like they like you, like you truly think that way, then chances are they do. You're just too scared. Two, I feel like everyone knows this, but when you do like somebody, you do block out their flaws. Like you don't really see things that other people see. And three, if you're having a really bad day, just saying hi to the person you like and them responding back will literally make your day. Here are some hard truths about crushes slash love that you probably need to hear. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, you can't get somebody to like you. Like no matter how much you think you're gonna glow up so that you can get this person to notice you or to like you, it just doesn't work that way. The energy has to match. They can be attracted to you, but they're not gonna like you. Two, if they wanted to be with you, they would be. And three, if you can remain friends with someone you were in a relationship with or that you love, chances are you either still really love them, just not as deeply, or you never loved them at all. Signs you are burning yourself out. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. On behalf of Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanted to use this platform to let you guys know signs of burnouts because they're so common. One, it's when you cannot escape your negative thoughts. Two, you are constantly overwhelmed and anxious. Three, you are easily irritated. Four, you do not find joy in the things that you used to love doing. And five, you feel like everything you have to do is an obligation. Like you don't see the benefit or the value of completing this task. You're just like, no, nah, I have to do it. Socially unacceptable things that I feel we need to normalize. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Just a disclaimer, we can agree to disagree. It's totally fine. Let's go. One, we do not need to forgive people just because they're our family. I personally feel like if they intentionally hurt us and they really had ill intentions, forgiveness is not mandatory just because we're family. Two, you know that saying where the customer is always right? I think employees have the right to call out a rude customer. And three, being a virgin is not something to be looked down upon or made fun of. Psychological facts about love and affection. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Let's go. One, cuddling can be a natural painkiller. Two, you know that saying opposites attract? It's real. Couples who are too similar to each other usually don't last. And three, I've been telling you guys that if you like somebody, you really need to make that eye contact because looking into each other's eyes can increase the chances of you two falling in love. This is what his high means. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention, let's go. Just a disclaimer, we can agree to disagree. That's fine. One, it's the classic head nod. If he does the head nod quick and then looks away, it's just a sign of respect and acknowledgement. But if he gives you the head nod, smiles, stares a little too long and then looks away, he was checking you out. <laughs> Two, if he comes up to you, says what's up, gives you a side hug, and then keeps walking to say hi to other people, he's not that interested and you're not that important. I'm sorry. And three, if he comes up to you, says hi, and tries to create conversation, even though it's extremely awkward, but still lingers around, like he still tries, even though there's literally nothing happening, he's interested. Guys, let me know. I'm about to say something and I guarantee more than half of you guys are going to disagree with me. And that's fine. I'm still gonna say it. Just because this one person that you specifically want does not want you the way you want them does not mean that no one will want you. Let me just, let me calm down. Listen, I know it hurts, okay? But just because you are in lust with this person does not mean that you put them on such a high pedestal to where they can define your worth. You're beautiful. Remember that. Guys, this is what her high means. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know if I'm wrong. Guys, pay attention. Let's go. Just a disclaimer, we can agree to disagree and that's totally fine. One, if she says hi and then instantly compliments you, she wants to be your friend. This mostly happens when it's your first time meeting. It's just her way of trying to not make it awkward and so that you guys have something to talk about. Two, if she does the whole, hi. It's when she says hi and then she kind of looks side to side like she just doesn't want to be there. It's because she does not want to be there. Whether it's because she's shy or she just already made up her mind that she doesn't like your energy. Three, if she says hi and then instantly introduces her friend, she's trying to play Cupid. Ladies, let me know.